Somebody left a comment in one of my previous videos saying they were having some difficulty marking text to a specific height. So I've got three different text objects on the screen and let's take a look at this. I figure it's probably worth a 60 second video. So here's the word text. You can see the character height is set to 10 millimeters. Now this is going to be dependent on the font you choose. In this case I've got Arial selected. And all it's going to say is, if you look at the X and the Y, is that it's marking to 7.15 millimeters height. That's the actual height you'll see if it's marked. And we can see that by marking it. So let's light it up. You can see the word text there. And let's mark it. I guess I have to turn the laser on. All right, now let's mark it. And let's pull out the caliper and get a rough measurement. So, I've got 7.3, this says 7.15, that's probably pretty close. So not quite the 10 we have it set for, but if we go up here and we keep this lock button selected so the aspect remains the same, we change this to 10, and we click apply, now the character height set to 13.986 millimeters. Why is that? If we go to the EasyCAD manual, you can see that they give you a little bit of an introduction to their proprietary JSF font, is what they call it. And you can actually edit these if we go back to EasyCAD and we go to Modify, JSF Fonts, and you can load a font and you can see how it sets up in this little box. You can scale it, you can do all sorts of things. But let's go back to the manual for a second. So you can see they describe a character as having a baseline, a cent height, and a descent height. So anything below this baseline is going to be like the lowercase g, the tail of a lowercase g, the tail of a q. Anything above it will be the, the body of the letter in addition to like an i or maybe an accent depending on your font and language. But that's the idea. So I think they're saying that the character height is going to be including this entire blue box here. So the actual marked amount is only going to be a certain portion of that blue box. So I think that's the idea behind, <coughs> behind the, the difference in the uh, marked height and the character height. So that's easy enough to set a specific height. If you want one line that's flat, you can just set it to 10 on your Y if you're shooting for a, um, 10 millimeters. But now let's say your text is curved little more difficult, right? Because you can't just say, oh, I need my Y to be 10 because it's going to be significantly more than that. But you can start with a flat line, single line, and say, if I have a Y of 10, what happens to my character height? Okay, it becomes 13.986 millimeters. So I'll just select that and copy it, and we can apply it here, and that'll be your new height here, and now that should be a 10 millimeter letter. Let's find out if it is. I guess we can mark this one too first, see if that turns into a 10 millimeter letter and we can change that back to our original 10 so we keep everything the same. So this should mark as actually 10 millimeters. So let's light that. That's partially off the page. That looks fine. Let's do that. And while we're at it, let's mark this curved one too, which we already changed to 13.986 millimeter height. And let's measure both of those. Both look pretty close to 10 to me. So that method seems pretty good, and the same thing would apply if you have two lines of text. You can't use the same single line format for the Y, because you can see now it's 17.15, but we can still back into it and change the character height to, well, I think I lost it, but let's go back and get it. 13.986, click here, 13.986, apply, and there you go. So same thing, now it's going to depend on what font you're in, everything's going to be a little bit different. You can see that if I change this to anything else, now we've got 7 point, well i got to apply it, 7.1 instead of 7.15, but there will be differences. So I hope that's useful to somebody, probably more useful to people who haven't yet used EasyCAD, but that's alright.